Well, last year, Katie Couric released a documentary called Under the Gun. It looked at America's firearms laws from a pretty specific perspective, as you can imagine. As part of the documentary, she interviewed a Virginia pro-gun group and then dishonestly represented what they said. Don't take our word for it. Watch this. Here's how the documentary framed their conversation. Let me ask you another question. If there are no background checks for gun purchasers, how do you prevent felons or terrorists from purchasing a gun? So they had no answer to that simple question. That's what viewers saw when they watched the documentary. Here's what actually happened. This is the raw tape. If there are no background checks for gun purchasers, how do you prevent felons or terrorists from walking into, say, a licensed gun dealer and purchasing a gun? Well, one, if, if you're not in jail, you should still have your basic rights and you should go buy a gun. So if you're a terrorist uh, so or a felon? If you're, if you're a felon and you've done your time, you should have your rights. What well, the fact is we do have statutes, both at the federal and state level, that prohibit classes of people from being in possession of firearms. So in real life, they had an answer. But on the documentary tape, they just stared off into space with their mouths open like morons. It was unfair and dishonest, and the group sued for defamation. But federal judge John Gibney Jr. just dismissed the case. He said Kirk did nothing wrong with the misleading editing in the documentary. Philip Van Cleve is president of the Virginia Citizens Defense League, and he joins us tonight. Thanks a lot for coming on, uh, Mr. Van Cleve. So, oh, yeah. Am I mischaracterizing the judge's ruling here? What did the judge say exactly? Well, basically, I think you, you, you summarized it correctly. He, he basically said, I don't think that VCDL had a valid answer. Therefore, the fact that you totally changed the response is irrelevant, is, is how he looked at it. So he didn't like the answer that you guys gave, so he argued that it's impossible to impugn your character or defame you because he thinks your positions are stupid? I would say that that's probably uh, an accurate uh, assessment. He didn't like the answer, therefore he thought the answer was irrelevant and could be changed to anything and it wouldn't matter. Is that, that doesn't sound like legal reasoning to me. That sounds like an MSNBC segment. Is you sure he's a judge? <laughs> uh, it, it, it certainly caused a lot of people I know that are lawyers to raise their eyebrows. That's, that's all I know. So uh, just to be clear, this documentary comes out, you watch it, and you know immediately that what's on the screen is not actually what happened, right? That's correct. Yeah, so we have then the audio tapes. You, yeah, I noticed, and, and God bless you for taping them. You're wise to do that. You go to Katie Couric and her producers and you tell them this, and what do they say? Well, nothing. I mean, nothing, nothing initially changed. Um, and um, the, the, the fact the film is still out there with all that, with that false section in there. It's still there. It's still being uh, available. Did they ever, I mean, they clearly misrepresented what happened. They lied about you in order to make a political statement. They made you look stupid, dishonestly, in order to push their agenda. Did they admit that? Did they apologize for it? Yeah, yes. Uh, they made us look ridiculous. And, and uh, Katie Couric uh, admitted at some point in the press that she, you know, should have said something or done something. But the point is, nothing changed. Again, somebody saying they're sorry but continuing to do something, that's, that's a problem. So this film lives on, as movies now do digitally, so like your great-grandchildren could pull this up and will have no idea that what they're looking at is fake. Yeah, they'll, they'll think uh, that, that we're ridiculous, that, that we were shameful for not having an answer to a simple question. Um, and gun, gun owners would look at that and, and think we were, we were the worst organization in the world, that we, didn't, we, we couldn't come up with uh, a simple answer to a very straightforward question. We came up with five minutes of answer, of which zero was, uh, was put in the, uh, the, the film. Really quick, what do you know about this judge? I don't really know anything about him. It's, all I know is he was a uh, Obama appointee. That's all I really know about him. I read that in the paper somewhere. So 
don't really know anything about yeah. it. So dishonest and scary. Philip, thanks for coming on tonight. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me on.